Emmanuel Latelat has been the new player linked with Red Star. He's a center forward who plays for St. Gallen this season on loan from Atalanta. He's gone through Atalanta's pretty much entire youth system. He's gone on a bunch of loans into uh, Serie B and Serie A, if I'm not, or sorry, Serie B and Serie C, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so like I said, he's gone through Atalanta's entire kind of youth um, youth system, and he had a breakout year this season for uh, St. Galan scoring 30 goal, or sorry, 10 goals in 30 matches, which is three or a goal every three matches. Obviously, is like I said, his best season thus far. Uh, 24 years of age, his loan with uh, St. Galan expires this summer, and then his uh, contract with Atalanta expires in uh, next summer. So if you know anything about Richmond Boachi, he's a player who uh, I don't think he came up through Atalanta's system, but he did play for them at one season or at one point in his career, and he was uh, great for us. Absolutely loved Richmond Boachi. Met him when I was in in Belgrade and got to take a picture of him. Super cool guy. Um, but that's kind of I guess uh, if you want a link between Red Star and, and Atalanta, that's kind of one of them. Um, if you're trying to pick out something, so he's a he's a different striker than what Red Star currently has. Um, he kind of looks for the open space to attack. Uh, so he's always trying to kind of maneuver in wherever the defenders kind of leave like a little bit of a of a slot or where they maybe take their focus off. He's trying to kind of get into those positions and try to score goals, which is a little bit different than what Pesic and Rakonets do. Pesic is a little bit more of a, how do I say, like a hard worker where he's going to retrieve the ball, kind of hold up the ball, wait for everyone else to kind of pitch in. And Rakonets is kind of, Rakonets is a little bit hard to describe. Like I really like what I've seen from him, uh, truth be told. Uh, but he's kind of all over the place. Like he can do a little bit of everything, which is which I've honestly been impressed with. When he came over to Red Star on the loan, I honestly didn't know what to expect, just because he didn't play a lot when he was in Russia. Uh, I, I believe that there is a buyout of a million euros for Rakonets. We'll see what the club decides to do. Um, with Latte, he's a little bit older. He's 24 years of age. I think Rakonets is 21, 22. Uh, obviously, Latte has more experience playing in. I don't want to say a bigger league or a better league, but where he gets consistent playing time. Um, Rakonets didn't get that in Russia. He's got some of it with Red Star recently, uh, and he's done very well. I, I've honestly been impressed. Like I said, I, I just didn't know what to expect from him when he got here. I knew about Rakonets when he was playing at Trukarichki, which is you know a, a great team that breeds young players and, and sell, sell, sells them for, for a good sum of money. So uh, you, if you play for Trukarichki, you do have quality. Uh, so... Yeah, that's that kind of um, that. That's kind of that gist of it about Trukarichki and his time there. Um, works well in the counter attack, which honestly in Champions League, if we're going to be serious, we're going to probably score most of our goals. If if we do, I don't want to say if we do score goals. I hope we do, but most of our goals are probably going to be off counter attacks. We're going to be playing very, very, very good teams from Europe's top leagues. Uh, we're going to have to soak up the pressure for much of the match, and then we're going to have to get out and and run when we do have the counter attacks. And from what I've seen, he looks pretty good in, in the counterattack. He's not very selfish with the ball. Like, it's very difficult to watch compilations and kind of figure out what guy stands because it's always going to show you what the player does really well. Um, but from the looks of it, he's someone who is, is very unselfish uh, with the ball, looks to get players involved. And like I said, playing in the Champions League, uh, this could be a, uh, you know something that we use to our advantage uh, with him there. He's very fast and very very quick with the ball. So it, it's very similar to kind of what Osman Bukhari offers the club. Like, he's just a lightning rod. Like, his, I mean, very difficult to close him down. He's very fast. Again, he doesn't... Bukhari, the oftentimes, and I've noticed this in the last few matches, he's not someone who really likes to take on defenders. If there's two defenders kind of surrounding him, he's going to look to make the right pass and get someone else the ball. He's been kind of doing a lot more of, of challenging, if there's two defenders coming at him, he, challenging the both of them, which is what he didn't really do in his um, early Red Star career, but he's kind of done that in the last few matches. And I don't really, I mean, he's testing out new things, I guess, but I don't really mind it at all uh, because he's been excellent for us. He's been one of the best buys that we've had in, in recent memory, but uh, similar shades to, to Bukhari, where he's very fast and very quick. He can kind of get away from defenders very fast. Uh, so that's something I think that I should mention. So again, very different than what Rakonets or Persic have to offer the club. Uh, this being his best season is a little worrisome. A goal every three matches for a player who could possibly play in the Champions League. I don't think that's good enough. You're looking to get a guy who can score a goal every two matches. 
And I understand you're going to have to fork out a lot of money for a guy who can score a goal every two matches at the Champions League level. You're probably looking at four or five million euros. Um, Jean-Philippe Crasso, who plays for uh, Saint-Étienne, he was kind of heavily linked to Red Star. And now I'm kind of mad that we didn't pull the trigger on him earlier because he's had an exceptional year for Saint-Étienne. So they actually wear the same color, so it's kind of... Um, so it's kind of confusing with Saint Etienne and Saint Galen, but he's had an exceptional year. I don't know his stats off by heart, but he definitely has 15, 20 goals and probably 10, 11 assists. So he's been exceptional. And Jean Philippe Casso was uh, rumored uh, to be uh, linked with Red Star. I think it was last summer, and I actually did a piece on him if, if he was going to come um, to the club or not, which I'll I'll link to uh, at the end of this video. But yeah, I mean, this being, it's a little worrisome. 10 goals in, in 30 matches. I'll say this, if he does come to Red Star, he's going to be playing with better players than he he is with at St. Galan. So that's a little bit different. We have guys like Bukhari, you have guys like Kata, you have guys like Ivanic, assuming they stay, obviously. Uh, Stefan Mitrovic has been real, uh, played well. Uh, Mijatovic, who's kind of getting into his own. So, and then the squad's, and Olajinka, obviously, Piro Olajinka's uh, coming from, from Slavia. Uh, Prague, so there's another player. So he's going to be playing with better players than he's in St. Galan. Now, does that equal more goals? Sometimes it does, but sometimes it doesn't. So um, if he does come, it's going to be interesting to see how we incorporate him into the team. And I think the biggest question is like what happens with Rakunets and Pesic, right? Rakunets, I assume if we do get um, a lap that, that Rakunets is going to go back to, to Russia, I don't think we're going to buy out his contract. Or if we do buy out his contract, we're going to sell Pesic. Uh, it's one of the two. I don't think we're going to carry three strikers with us unless it's a completely different system. We still don't know the manager, 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 really, manager who the manager is going to be. Oh, it's a tough day for me. Um, come next season, there's rumors about uh, Bakar coming from, from Maccabi. Um, we'll see what happens with Milos Milovic. So it's basically going to come down to kind of what the manager wants in a striker and the system that he enforces. Uh, Bakar likes to play with 4-3-3 as far as I know. Like what what happens with the rest of the players, I think that's just something that we're going to have to wait and see. But I, I think it's it'd be very difficult for us to carry three strikers and to buy Rakunets out of his contract uh, from Russia and then to also add uh, Lat and then to also add Pesic. I think it, it's too much. So you're probably going to go with two strikers. And then you have Jovan Mijatovic as well as a young, youngster stud, 17, 18 years of age, who you're kind of looking to work into this lineup as well, who's getting more and more playing time now the Red Stars kind of seal the title he scored yesterday a really nice goal actually um off a turn and and yeah so it, it's going to be very interesting um i would be very wary again 10 goals in in 30 matches is 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 his best season i think that's a little bit of an issue uh he's a player who could play center forward i believe he could play left wing and right wing as well but i mean we already have players at those positions i don't think it would make much sense apart from playing at center forward but again 10 and 30 best season he's 24 years of age so he's not exactly young a uh, little bit worrisome, uh, but we'll see. Now the rumors are going to ramp up with the season coming to an end and, and just kind of assessing where the team is and just to kind of plug in the holes uh, ahead of Champions League. We have a lot of times, oh, sorry, we have we have a lot of time to sign players now that we, that we are officially in the Champions League. So there's no more qualifying, thank God, um, directly to the Champions League group stage, which is great for us. So now we have time to assess the team. I mean, it's, it's um, May 9th today, so... Like we have a lot of time to assess this team and see what we still need and we can't make mistakes. We have to go to Champions League and to build a very strong squad and to compete with the best clubs. So uh, Emmanuel, Lat, uh, Emmanuel Latte Lat is the uh, latest player linked to Red Star.